Hello all, this is Bob playing GeoGuessr for you on August 24th, 2020. GeoGuessr is this uh, web-based game you can play at geoguessr.com, spelled, you know, without the E at the end of the guesser thing. Uh, and you can play it and it makes you guess where you are in the world using Google Street View. There's a free version where I'm just, I'll just elaborate on that since maybe you've watched my videos before, but only a little and don't know what this is. Um, if you don't have a paid subscription, which is two bucks a month, uh, you can just play the daily challenge for free, which is just one game a day. Um, but, uh, if you subscribe, then you get a bunch of different, they call them maps, but that's a misleading word. It's a, a hand picked collection of starting points. And the whole thing about it is, you know, instead of, if you actually, if you click into world right now, let's even do that just <laughs> to see there's, uh, it's literally any place in the world with, with street view. So this is the, a random place. Oh, should we play this? Oh, I kind of want to see where this is now. Um, <laughs> I do kind of want to see it. Maybe I'll play it later. Um, instead, let's just, anyway, um, uh, those are not handpicked destinations, but, uh, uh, you can go to the, you can browse maps and like this famous place is one someone went through and, Picked over 500 places to start from. So that's cool, but they're famous places. Like, look, that's Castle Nuschwanstein in Bavaria. Um, and I personally don't like to play the ones where you already know what country you're going to be in because that's at least half the fun is figuring out which country you're in. Um, but I don't like this dumb test one because it's a little insulting. It's like, are you so dumb that you don't know this? I think I've played all of them anyway, though. Let's just look at it. Ha! <laughs> Uh, it's like, yeah, what well, are you so dumb? You don't know this is the red Kremlin, red square area. This is a red square in Moscow. Okay. I guess I'm not that dumb, huh? but that's not, it's not, you're not that dumb if you didn't recognize that anyway, um, the one and you get all these different map possibilities. Uh, but the one I've been playing lately or one I've been playing is a diverse world where they picked over 17,000 different spots in the world from all the countries available on Google street view, which is almost all of the countries. So that's cool. Um, and no blurry pictures. And sometimes when you play it where it's really random, uh, it, uh, uh it's blurry or it's just, a, a, you can't read the signs or anything like that. Anyway, let's do what I've done a lot lately, which is play this, but with a five minute time limit on each round, five rounds. I don't, I can't take more than five minutes each or I lose the round start game, a diverse world. And now we're in a, Ooh, we're in a, we're in a very Brown countryside with some green bushes around. Ah, I wonder where we are. Should I go this way? See if I can find a sign. What on earth? We're just a dirt road through the bush. So are we in, where's the sun? Uh, 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 sometimes the sun helps us know which hemisphere we're in. Can't even quite tell. Is that the sun? Is that the sun? If that's the sun, that uh, doesn't tell us anything. Um, wow. We are in a remote place. But again, this was picked as a place where maybe you could figure it out by whoever made this map, this map. <gasps> There's a sign, but what a, what a cryptic clue. It says Charnal in sp spray painted graffiti font. <laughs> um, huh. Am I going to figure anything out here? I mean, my first guess is the Australian outback just cause it looks like the bush. I don't know. Um, but you know, this could be Latin America, could be Central America, South America, could be Africa. Uh, and look at it, it's just not letting me see um, much stuff. <gasps> Here's a sign. Here's a sign. Okay, Gobierno Regional Tumbes, Dirección Regional Secretarial de Transportes. Tumbes, Tumbes. So we're in a region. Wow, my phone thought I was asking it something. Um, we are in a place with a region called Tumbes. So there's that. <clears throat> it's Spanish speaking, right? These are Spanish words. Um, any other park? 
Parque Nacional Cerros de Amotape. Are there any other clues here? What do you think? Are we in... Uh, okay, Tumbes, Tumbes, Tumbes. What could that be? Which Spanish-speaking country could that be? There are many Spanish-speaking countries. <clears throat> okay, is it saying that there's... Well, I don't know. Where should I go? Can I go that way even? No, it says go this way. Okay, all right. If I don't get any more intel from that, what am I even going to do? Oh, this was a little roundabout all along. Um, I'm just going to pick a dry looking country in Latin America with uh, minimal, with, 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 with a non-urban area. Another sign though. This one says La Riconada. So I think those are actual town names. This is like a third world country, isn't it? This is like uh, one of the poor ones. That's what it seems like to me. So Honduras, El Salvador, huh? Just going by, just going by economic level. Um, Honduras is the first one that comes to mind as far as just a just a hella poor Latin American country. We've got a minute and a half left. Maybe I should look around Honduras and see if or see if there's Tumbes. See if Tumbes is a region. Tumbes? Huh? What are your regions called? Well, they're called departments here. So maybe it's not Nicaragua or Honduras. Maybe it's Nicaragua. Do you have Tumbes region? Huh? 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 I wish it were more consistent about showing the name. Like, just come on. You know I'm looking for the name of the region. Tumbes, are you a town? Is Tumbes a town? Hmm? I mean, Panama is pretty poor also, right? I think it's coming up in the world, but... Provinces. I'm, I'm sort of feeling like Nicaragua right now. Maybe El Salvador? Got 30 seconds left. They call them departments there. Did I miss? And it could be Guatemala. This is just, I'm not going to have enough time. So I'm probably going to go take a stab in a really remote looking part of uh, Nicaragua here. Or sorry, what is this? Honduras? Honduras. I want Honduras. Yeah. I don't know. Or Nicaragua. Boop. Guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was Peru. Not Central America, South America. Close to the border of Ecuador. Ecuador is economically more stable than Peru. How do I know that? I play GeoGuessr and I look around. <laughs> That's about all I know. Uh, I have been to Peru also. I went to Lima and I went to Cusco. It was a pretty cool place. But yeah, this is a very remote thing. Maybe I eventually would have seen Route 105, but then I would have had to figure out we're in Peru. And if you're in Peru, it's a big country. Would I have even looked over there? I don't know. I don't know. So I didn't do great on that round. I got this many out of this many. So boo. Let's see if I do better this time. Another quiet locale. That's for sure. Whew. Okay. This a uh, diverse world is not kind with uh, signs. A lot of the time. Um, remember that one time it was like, yeah, we're a diverse world. And then two in a row were Argentina. And look, now it's not even letting me click very far. Oh, for crying out loud, what are you trying to do to me? I'm trying to look good in front of my friends. And they're just going to be like, oh, Bob, you act like you're so good at geography, but you couldn't tell where this field was in the middle of nowhere. That's what my friends are like. Oh, look at There's nothing, and it's barely letting me click. Urgh. Look it. Look it. I hate you. Hate you. So just so you know, I don't know why this is, but depending on what got recorded there, it can be easier or harder for you to click way ahead. Like some places, if I hover over here and click, it would really zip up there, but now it's not quite doing that. And so I'm not advancing very fast. Was there some uh, kind of info over here? 
a sign I can look at. I can at least get a sense of a language, maybe. Uh, looks like another maybe Spanish-speaking. Aviso. Ca, 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 de, it's probably Spanish-speaking, but I don't know. I don't know. Very flat country here. You know, my thought is Argentina because a diverse world thinks their idea of diversity is lots of different empty fields in Argentina. Yeah, I'm insulting a diverse world. Yeah, come at me. Ha! See, come on. You're not even letting me advance hardly. Seems like there are some buildings up there. There's a bee outside my window. Hope it's outside. I can't even really tell. Oh, yeah, it's outside. Um, Wants to get in, though. It aspires to be in here with me. What do you say? You say Juan Hole 2013. Okay, that's funny looking graffiti, but okay, you do you, Juan Ho. Um Wow, this is my idea of, ooh, there's some buildings up there, and it's just like some little station, and I'm already halfway through my time, and what do I have? Caliente, it's like hot springs. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know what's over here, you guys. This is uh, this is going to be a pretty wild stab. Look, that's it. I'm going to start over and go to the other direction. How about that? Maybe that was the way to go. But of course, this being this shitty map, I am not advancing much. Could we be by the like ocean? Feels a little like you're approaching the ocean this way. We're going sort of northish. What was that sign? There was a sign there. Wait, wait, Ugh, can't control it very well. What does it say on this side? It says something. There are words. Okay, another 2013 thing, but that's the back of it, isn't it? What does it say on this side? This is the best intel I've got. It says reduce speed to 40. Camino sinuso. Okay. Um, do you think we are? Or I guess we're in... Pinguinera. Uh-huh. Oh, you guys, where? Where is this? Hmm? Where's the sun? I at least get a hemisphere, but no. It's too overcast today. Is that the sun? It's sort of in the north, so maybe Argentina. Uh, boring. I don't like I don't like it here. But uh maybe we're sort of by the water. Maybe we're sort of over here. You think? Let's just click in and move on. Uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> 399 kilometers. Uh, we were actually barely in Argentina. This is the border of Argentina and Chile down here where those two countries get a little jungled up together. Uh, this is this is Argentina. This is Chile. And these are the Straits of Magellan. And this is Tierra del Fuego. I think it's called that because like... When the Magellan squad was cutting through here, there, there were uh, local, you know, indigenous peoples who were shooting flaming arrows at them from the, from the, that's one of the, I guess that's one of the rumors why that's called Tierra del Fuego. Um, if you're thinking it's because it's warm down there, you're thinking wrong. Anyway, it was this little road, and I guess it was kind of near the water, but it was just certainly flat land. This is this little road. How would I have found that? I'm uh, I'm lucky I did that well, that I even got the correct country. Huh. Okay, next round. Come on, give me something. Thank you. Some stuff to look at for once. Uh, looks like uh, looks like that is French speaking. Payon après onze heures. Um, so we're, I mean, it looks kind of European, but, you know, Quebec City looks kind of European as well. So maybe we're in Quebec City, but probably not. We are probably in France or uh, another French speaking part of Europe. Uh, does that tell me anything? White, 1921. That's weird. Uh, where is it? Huh. It's a lively place. Lots going on. Look at these cute little streets with maybe little homes. Is that a flag? No, it's not a flag. Tourism office. Okay, so that'll help. Um, are you talking about where we are? Any of you? Any of you talking about where we are? Okay, you're the adult library. That's interesting. Um, 
but the tourism office is down here. Oh, wait, what was that? What flag was that? Oh, it's a bunch of flags. Don't know which one this might be. Uh, wow, this is a neat little town, huh? By little town, I mean, could be a big town also. It's a neat little part of a uh, town. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Burr. Now I'm down some alleyway. Probably going to get mugged. How did I get here? Uh, I wanted to go to the office of tourism. Um, de la vie. Which V? Tell me. Um, wait a minute. Is that another language that's... Hmm. Well, look at this. Mon Dieu. Overture efficient. Well, we're not in Peru. <laughs> Looks sort of close to the Peruvian flag. Um, fish bar, la petite plage, the little beach. Um, okay, we got, I mean, those are French flags. We're in France, right? But what's that? It's also that thing. Is that the flag of the French state we're in? We're in Saint-Tropez. Wow, okay. Uh, Saint-Tropez is down here, right? Uh, is it down here? No, it's over... Donde? There we go. Saint-Tropez. This is Saint-Tropez. Look, the Office of Tourism was just down the road from where we started. So we're probably like, I don't know... We were by some nice square. Was it this square over here? Uh, was it over here? Was it like here? I don't know, but it's pretty close anyway. Okay, I, I clicked in and it was 194 steps away. Saint-Tropez is, uh, I don't know, I think I used to think it was an island, but no, it's just a town right here on the coast on this nice bay. Uh, seems like fancy people have fancy times in Saint-Tropez. And there you go. Europe indeed. Okay. Um, now we're on round four. Why is it being weird with the, I don't know, highlighting? Um, don't be highlighty. It bothers me. Distracts me. What's that sign say? Um, Atención a Cuse Ferrocarril. That could be Spanish or Portuguese for all I know. We are going to the east. Uh, Caprio, Ma, I don't know. I don't know. I need more. What are you telling me? What are you about? Oh, I like those green signs. Cast, Catrio, Centro. This is a little unusual. I wonder where this is. Huh. What's this, uh, business about you? What do you sell? is your business i'm just curious i just want to know about your business um i don't know but you got a business and uh, i hope you are prosperous and everybody is happy and that you're not corrupt <laughs> just when you think about prosperous businesses these days you think yeah they're probably corrupt maybe that's just sour grapes i don't know um is that a flag I didn't mean to click the map. Uh, are you a flag of a nation? I don't think you are a flag of a nation. You just look like that every time I look. You really can't. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Hope someone else has a flag, though. This place could really use some national pride, you know? Huh. Okay. Do you tell me anything? Uh, this has been a pretty tricky game, you guys. Not providing much info except in Central Pay. Huh. Okay, big old radio tower. Doesn't really help me. When you go to the east, you just... Whoa, 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 whoa. 
we're down to half the time left and I don't really have anything other than probably Spanish speaking. This is a very nice little tree lined highway though. Argentina, Provincia de la P -p 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 something, Patagonia. Okay, Patagonia. That's Patagonia is bigger than just one region. Patagonia is basically all of this. And Chile counts as well, I think. Um, so, but it seems like Provincia was telling us, like, is that Pampa? Is that Pampa? Yeah, we were looking for Pampa in an earlier game. So, okay, we've narrowed it down to this province of Argentina. And that's on an east-west highway. Um, so maybe we're there. Uh, you think we can... Is this like we're entering now? Like this is the border of it? Does it say the other way? Now you are leaving La Pampa. What does it say over here, huh? Uh, uh, it also says Provincia de La Pampa. Either way. Wow. Are you talking about where we are? That's like, a, is that what? It's weird. It's like, are we here? Are you saying we're there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but you've got yourself a nice tree-lined highway, that's for sure, La Pampa, Argentina. Ooh, what's this? Uh, we have a minute left. Do you think I'll find whatever that is? <laughs> Control de Hacienda. I don't think that's a town. I think that's a like a way station or something. Um... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about that, though? What about that, though? What about that? Come on. I got less than a little bit of time. Less than a little bit of time left. Buen view. Okay, that just means something about a nice view, doesn't it? <sighs> Partido de Pellegrini. You know, I just don't have enough time to really to really get it going, do I? Let's guess we're over here for now. Maybe we're here. Huh? like near the border, so they have that. Uh, let's click in. I was 436 kilometers away. So the, you know, I was proud of myself for figuring out we're in La Pampa, but this is about as far away within the same state as you can get. It was the other end. It probably was signs saying, hey, you just got to La Pampa from Buenos Aires province, which is rather large, actually. Um, yeah, oh well, I mean, I feel like I was on the right track, but I ran out of time, I don't know. Uh, I guess there's one more round. Oh, God, why do you do this to me? Okay, we got our little stone walls here that keep these, I don't know, orange trees kind of corralled. Better keep them corralled or else they'll go wild all over the place. Are these orange trees? Can you tell what's on them? I don't know, I don't know what, about kinds of trees. What do I even know? Um, maybe we're in Orange County, California, but you know what? We're probably not. Let's face it. Um, uh, maybe we're in Spain. Uh, Espai d'Interes Natural Societat de Caca Mas Mulet Coto Privat. Pri I, is that Spanish? You guys? Am I reading? Do I even know? Espai? I mean... A little strange. Um, Basa Bombers. What language? You guys, I'm starting to think maybe this isn't Southern California. Uh, let's go the other way. Uh huh. What's going on over here? Some options, some signs. I like signs. Um, but what do the signs say? I don't like them as much when I don't know what they say, but look at this one has. Okay, de casa. That's usually a sign of Portuguese, isn't it? So maybe we're in Portugal. What is, I wish I could get a good look at that. Um, uh, I can't see. I can't read it well enough. Um, ah, so mad. I can't tell what this is. But since, since I, you know, my brain considered Spain and now that uh, little sedil makes me think about Portuguese, maybe we're in Portugal. 
I don't know, maybe we're around like here in the middle of Portugal where there are groves like that, right? So right now we're going south and here is a, here's some traffic. Oh no, we're in a traffic jam. Oh man, I'm gonna be late for work. Darn commute. Um, okay, where are we? What's going on? Tell me something. At least give me some confirmation about the language. Prohibido el paso. Solo personal. Explotación. Explotación. Uh-oh, better get out of here. There's going to be a huge explotación over there, you guys. Take cover. Oh, I wish we had time to go check out that town over there. I bet it knows what language I'm reading. Um, um, okay, is that a little readable? Area del Baron del Mas de Comu. Okay, I, now I don't think Portuguese, because I don't think Portuguese has de e so much. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I don't actually speak these languages. I just look around at signs here. But maybe... You know what it is when when it looks kind of like Spanish, but not that familiar. Sometimes that means it's Catalan. Wow. Now what are my choices? What's going on here? You got like this. Maybe this goes to that cool town, which we don't even have time to go see right now. Um. um but Catalan is the dialect of Spanish spoken in Catalonia which is the big semi-autonomous region of Spain where Barcelona is. Huh? Is there stuff to tell me stuff over here? What about that sign over there? I got a minute. What about that? I'm not going to be able to see that sign, am I? Oh, what about that? What about that? You got, oh, what? What's happening? It's crazy town over here, you guys. Absolute crazy town. There are signs, but there isn't time. Oh, and these signs just kind of look the same as before. Might wind up just locking in where I clicked because time is running out. Um, oh, now we're in a nice paved road. How'd that happen? Um, what about over here? We got 30 seconds. Does this roundabout say stuff where we are? Kami de la Basa? Okay, it's not familiar. Huh? 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 Tortosa, Santa Barbara, T331. Huh? Huh? Are we around there? I don't know. I don't know. Eight seconds. Wish I had more time, but I don't. Clicking in. Oh, that probably is Catalan. Whoa, whoops. I didn't mean to click there. Um. So I guessed this part of Spain, which is Catalonia, and it was, it is, look at that, Catalonia, I was within Catalonia, uh, here's the T road that we found ourselves at, wow, you know, if I had time, I might have gotten closer, but I was 155 kilometers away, I feel okay about that, um, under the circumstances, given the time limit. So that was five rounds. How did I do? 19,290. That's less than 20,000. I mean, you know, there were some where it was just like, how do you even know anything? This time I was in the wrong continent in the wrong hemisphere. I was like, I guess Nicaragua it looks sort of poor. And it turns out we were in Peru. Yeah, that was not, um, not one of my proudest moments. Um, but you know what? Don't we kind of want to see what happened here <laughs> when I clicked into just the world game? Oh, look at that. Nordwagen. Nordwagen. I think when there's an O over the A, you're supposed to go O. Oh, so Nordwagen. Um, I'm still recording. So let's just let me do this one round. See, again, this was the version of the game where nobody hand picked it for you. Um it just randomly found any old place on Google Street View. And so that's why what we're seeing here is something that would have been rejected because it's not well mapped, kind of. <laughs> it's not letting me exactly go along. There we go. Um, so if we're heading south here in Nordwagen, ooh, look at that. I mean, my first thought is that we're in Norway, somewhere in Norway where there's this this, I mean, maybe this is a tiny little fjord, 
tiny relative to, but also see what I mean? I can't click and go way ahead. Um, but look at this neat town we find ourselves in. This is just randomly finding you someplace using Google Street View, and you're in this very charming Scandinavian place. I'm gonna keep recording until I click in on this round, because I wanna know where Nordvagen is. And I'm looking for clues. Okay, what does that sign say? It says, Till Salogs, probably means for sale or for rent. Salogs, probably sale. Hey, it's the Joker. Oh, you're such a Joker. Um, so if this is facing south, where in Norway is it like that? Lots of places. Maybe we're here. You know, we could be like here. Um... It's called Nordvagen, so maybe they're okay. Thank you for that little news brief. Maybe we're maybe they're super proud of being up above the Nord, the Arctic Circle. Tromso is a Tromsø. I think that O slash is pronounced E. So I think that's Tromsø. That's supposedly a cool city. Anyway, uh, do I see Nordvagen by a little fjord? Do I? I don't know. Should I look a little more? You can stop watching and go on with your life or you can see what happens when I try to guess on this random place. You know, this is not an uh, unpopulated area. Look at, I mean, this whole town here, all along this street, and I'm just able to drive through and look, they've got a bus system. You know, you can take the bus to this town, this part of this town. Hi, Norwegian. I just want to say hello to you, a Norwegian. You might not be a Norwegian. I realize that I am still just guessing Norway based on language and sort of looks. Wow, look at this. Look at this. They've got their nice lawns. Everybody's got nice green lawns and their pot of flowers. And you're free to just stroll through. And they Google Street View mapped it. And I bet the day they did this, some people around here noticed it and said... I am proud to show off our town on Google Street View. That's what I bet happened. I bet that lady was thinking that right there that we drove by. Um, but actually, I didn't get more clues, did I? Um, I just know it's Nordvagen. I wish I could see a road. Um, <clears throat> should we start back at the beginning? Because that was the road to Nordvagen. <clears throat> Maybe this is the road to a sign that says what road it goes to. Uh-huh. A lot of tunnels like this around here. Now we're in it. You guys were in the tunnel. Do you think this is helpful to players of the game? You can stop watching. I can, I'm, just, I'm just playing. But I don't think it's a sign up here. And it's not advancing well. Huh. Come on, man. So I think looking out that way. And that's looking south. And you're looking towards... I mean, maybe we're not that far north. Maybe it's like one of these kinds of places. I think Nordvagen is around here. Do you guys see Nordvagen? It just really looks like a, a more northern Arctic circle and above type of, you know. I don't see any trees. So I, I'm just really thinking we're up here. You know, maybe we're on these Lofoten Islands. These are cool. I would love to just go drive around. Wouldn't it be great to just go drive around these islands? How awesome would that be? Do you guys see Nordvagen? Where are you, Nordvagen? I'm coming for you. I'll find you. And when I find you, I'm going to look around at you and admire you. How you like that? <laughs> All right, we're pretty far north now, huh? Do you think we're Do you think we're by Hammerfest? You know where I went? I went here. I went to this this town, Honingsvog, Honingsvog, and it's very far north. Very. Look how far north it is. That's how far north it is. And I went there, and I got on a bus. Whoops, where'd it go? And drove up to here. We went so far north. And you might think there's nothing to do there except for be a tourist. <laughs> but they said that tourism is the second biggest 
Oh my God. You guys, I hope you stayed and watched because Nordwagen is right here. If I keep going, I'll go to, I'll come to Honingsvog where I've been. <laughs> so you know what? First of all, yes, I'm going to click in here. But also, before we do that, let's go visit where I went. Here, Honingsvog. <laughs> this is Honingsvog. I've been here. There may be even a cruise ship in port when we get here, you guys. Ha ha ha. This is Honingsvog. I'm telling you. I wish it would go faster. I went for a walk around here. A walk. Oh my God. It's so frustrating how it's not moving forward. But I went for a walk around here. This is Honingsvog. Isn't it darling? Yeah, and they're not just a tourist place. They're a fishing town. They do a lot of business fishing. I walked by this cemetery. Look it. Remember when I was there, you guys? I do because I'm the one that was there. Should I? Uh, yeah, I walked by this lake and it was in the morning and people were kind of just getting out of bed. Wow, look at this. I was here. This is Honingsvog. Here's what I think I'll do since I'm still recording. Let's find a place that I was. And I'll show you a picture from my, from my camera roll. <laughs> yeah, I walked down this street, man. Okay, so hang on. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go type photos at google.com. And I'm going to stroll down to the 2017, the June 2017 part of my life. I'm fine when I went to Honingsvog. I'm looking at another window now. Uh, uh, okay, now it's after that. Come on. Let's see. Okay, okay. Here we go. This is that day. Let's move it into your view. All right. This is the day I arrived there. And there's the town. This is the town we're in. Look at. Look at. These are my pictures. <laughs> Didn't we just go by here on the uh hang on. Like around there. This is this is around there. That's a picture I took. And this is where I just randomly got put in Google Street View. Let's see. What else is there here? That's the cemetery I said I walked by. <laughs> Look, here is it in the game. This is the cemetery. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah. Um, hang on. Is there a better view that really proves it? This is this, this is the GeoGuessr Street View thing. And this is a picture I took. See those houses? They are those houses. <laughs> Look at that house. And that house is the same. So uh, I think that's pretty neat here. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and lock in our actual guess here. And you can see that I'm right. I am guess I guessed 138 meters away. But yeah, so way up north in Norway. This is Norway. This is all Norway here. So is this, by the way, um, Svalbard. Looks big there, but that's because of the Mercator projection. Um, yeah, Norway. I went on a cruise that just went all up and down all these fjords and went to Trondheim and did all, all this stuff. And the northernmost stop was in Honingsvag, uh, across the, this little bay from Nordvagen, apparently. That's why I didn't remember about it because we weren't really facing there. Got on a bus. We went up to Nordkap, where it's just a tourist attraction to see a really north place. <laughs> um so there you go. Um, I think you've seen enough. I think you should get back with, uh, you know, get back to work now. You're, uh, you've wasted quite enough time watching me fooling around on GeoGuessr. Thanks for watching.